Life is filled with uncertainties, and tragedy could strike at any given moment. A shattering earthquake, an intense fire breakout, a violent collision, an encompassing flash flood, a consuming tornado. These are a few of the many disastrous moments that could take place around you. It's important that you keep a level-headed state of mind as much as possible and be prepared to do whatever it takes to survive. Continue watching as our topic today could give you the lifeline you are hoping for when a tragedy strikes. You've seen it in movies about natural disasters or the grave occurrence of a pandemic that has dramatically affected the environment. A zombie apocalypse may be far off, but there are other, much more realistic dangers out there that you shouldn't turn a blind eye to. You never know when your time is up, but that doesn't mean that you would just give up in the face of adversity. Being prepared should be something that you ought to take seriously, because when things go down, you would want to be one of those who can come off standing until the very end. Here are the 10 best emergency tips everyone should know. Number 10. Assemble an emergency bag. When a disaster takes place, one of the obvious things that you need to secure are your basic needs. What are the essentials? These are the immediate needs that your body requires in order to survive. Assemble an emergency bag that contains some non-perishable food, water, basic medicines, disinfectants, a flashlight with extra batteries, and etc. This can be as extensive as can be, but keep in mind that this also needs to be handy should there be a need for you to go mobile. Number 9. Secure a copy of your important documents. As your surroundings start to go upside down, you may no longer have the capacity to secure your important documents. These are your bank books, social security cards, personal identifications, birth certificate, passport, etc. You don't necessarily need the originals, but it's important that you get a copy of each document. File it in a waterproof package and secure it in your emergency bag. You can also put together an emergency card, which contains a rundown of your personal data, detailing your blood type, allergies if you have any, maintenance medicine, and any underlying conditions. In the event of a rescue, this can serve as a reference to medical personnel who would assist you. Number 8. Maintain a source of light. If your moment of emergency ever leads you to getting stranded, it's important that you're able to maintain a source of light when things start to get dark or there's a total power outage. You may have a flashlight or a mobile phone with you, but you can't rely on it all the time because the battery will run out. The most ideal method would be to create a little bonfire with the use of a match or lighter and some wood. You just have to make sure that the fire doesn't spread to where you're taking shelter. Number 7. Prepare your contact list. Having a smartphone in the midst of an emergency could really make you feel at ease with its numerous access to comfort and safety. However, you can't completely rely on your mobile when things go awry, because in the event that it gets damaged or the battery gets drained, you shouldn't succumb to panic. If you're not able to memorize them, keep a list of important contacts on paper and file them together with your important documents. Number 6. Find Cover. Take Shelter. One of the key things to getting through an emergency is finding cover and taking shelter. Whether you are stranded in your house or taking shelter someplace else, make sure that your location is stable and safe and be sure to locate your exits should you need to evacuate. Hang on tight and we're almost there. Keep watching to find out the remaining tips that are as important as the first five. Number five, maintain connections. When a disaster strikes, there's a high chance that you are not the only one going through with it. So in the words of the wise, maintain connections. No man is an island. Find someone close to you and work together to survive. Help one another. It's always comforting to know that you're not going through this on your own. It helps with your survival mechanism too. Number four, vehicle at the ready. When a disaster strikes, there can be only two scenarios which involve a vehicle. Can they be utilized or not is the question. If it comes to a point that you're able to use it, try to at least have a spare gas can in your house. Make sure that it's stored properly, as this could also pose as a potential hazard on its own. If keeping a spare is not possible, you can always opt to make sure that your car is properly maintained and is in good running condition. Number 3. Leave no pet behind. Pets are family. And when a disaster strikes, you owe it to them to make sure that they're part of your plan for safety. Add portions of their food in your emergency bag, as well as a leash or harness if you have a dog or cat. Prepare a spare cage if you can, 
beside your emergency bag so you can freely transport them as needed. Number two, maximize your mobile. We've mentioned earlier that your phone gives you the instant access to comfort and safety, but there's a limit to it as it has battery life. With that in mind, think about the immediate features in your phone that you could maximize as a disaster strikes like communication, locating and coordination, communicate your current situation, locate the important places like the nearest hospital, police station, etc., and coordinate your plan for emergency by saving your phone's battery and only using it when you really need it. Number 1. Safeguard the Financials The whole point of having to survive a disaster is being able to continue with life after it. This final pointer will actually serve you as the first step to recovering from the tragedy that you managed to overcome physically and mentally. Having a good amount of cash can help you in accommodating your needs moving forward. Moments of tragedy and disasters come when you least expect it, and realistically speaking, it's very much impossible to prepare for chaos. However, knowing and doing these 10 best emergency tips could give you the fighting chance in improving your chances of survival. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button or you will get banned from YouTube. Just kidding. Let us know what you think about this video by commenting below. You can also let us know what other topics you'd like for us to cover.